So we have it set to about the right length, the bobber rests on the water, and then that will put the worm down almost to the bottom. Okay, and that's where we've been catching them today. Look at that, there you see us right there, both of us? Yeah. It's pretty neat, huh? <laughs> I found my shirt. And look who we ran into right over here. Hi guys. <laughs> it's about time now. It is about time now, Brad and Diana. So we went downtown Holland and had an absolutely fabulous meal. Oh my gosh. So what did you have, Michelle? Living full-time in our Airstream, we always find it a treat to return home to visit friends and family. Our hometown visits included three Michigan cities. First, we traveled to Coldwater, Michigan, the town where I grew up, then to Port Huron, Michelle's hometown, and the city where we lived our entire married life. You can see those earlier videos in this playlist. Our last hometown visit is Holland, Michigan, my boyhood home. Holland is on the shores of Lake Michigan and is known for its stunning beaches with powder soft sand, its springtime tulip festival, and for its hospitality. And of course, Holland State Park is right on the shores of Lake Michigan. And behind me is one of the sunsets that this park is so famous for. Um, truly, truly a beautiful beach and a beautiful area. A few years back, I was at this state park. In fact, before we bought the Airstream, and I did a photographic adventure of a moonset over the Big Red Lighthouse. And let's look at some of that right now. We're heading to Ottawa Beach Park in Holland, Michigan to photograph the moon over the Big Red Lighthouse. So the moon's setting, ambient light's coming up. We should work out just about perfect. I'm getting pretty close to the shot I had envisioned. So I heard there's a hot babe host over here. Oh, I just texted me. I heard it go. Oh, what you up to? Riding the other campground. Oh yeah. What are you up to? What's going on over there? Um, it's shady and it smells like cypress trees. <laughs> We stayed at Holland State Park's Beach Campground this past June, where we served as the campground host. This was our first hosting experience at a Michigan State Park, but definitely not our last. We served a total of three months as campground hosts at three different Michigan State Parks, our thoughts about campground hosting will be the subject of a future video. One of the events we coordinated was a fishing program on the boardwalk. So we have it set 
to about the right length, the bobber rests on the water, and then that will put the worm down almost to the bottom. Okay, and that's where we've been catching them today. What are you catching? Um, in the bucket. If you want to take a look, they're mostly gobies. Michelle and I made a quick trip to Saugatuck, Michigan, which is a great fun little town in the western side, southern western side of Michigan. And look who we ran into right over here. Hi guys. <laughs> it's about time now. It is about time now, Brad and Diana. We had a great lunch together right beside us here at the Butler restaurant. And we're kind of walking around seeing what this town has to offer. I found my shirt. Trees. I look at the connection between nature and us human beings. The air that we breathe back to those trees, back to us, it is a special connection. So when I'm within the nature, for me it's not just trees. I see myself, I see other people there. So as an artist I believe each and every tree stands for each and every human being. Tell me about this sculpture on this pedestal here behind us. Yeah, it was gifted to the city of Sagatak from the Amawazi store that we actually went in and looked around. It's all things from Africa. So it's a beautiful sculpture here. Very nice. In the middle of this beautiful park. That's pretty amazing. And Sagatak is really kind of a fun little town and a lot, there's a lot going on here.
39 steps. Wow. <laughs> That's something you never think about, is that these kind of shots, we got to come back up and get the camera. So this is a path that will take us around to just a hiking path that continues on just dirt. It's not, you know, paved or, or um, wood like this, mm -hmm. but it goes up and around, loops around, and drops you back into Lake Makatawa campground. So that's where... Yep, that's where she, Kathy was saying that mm -hmm. they go up from the campground in Lake Makatawa, up the path and around, and then they loop, they bop out here. And then they just go up the stairs, the last bit of stairs mm -hmm. to the top. Nice. And that's one way you could do it. And then, you know, if you come back down and keep going down the way we just came up, there's ice cream at the bottom. At the general store. <laughs> So here's where we are, and we just walked this little path. And then we can keep going on the trail, and that loops all around and goes and dumps into Lake Makatawa Campground right there. We heard that sometimes on the steps there are things hidden and check out this that we found on the way down. <laughs> it's so cute. Was that a ladybug? Uh-huh. Like a ladybug to me. So we went downtown Holland and had an absolutely fabulous meal. Oh my gosh. So what did you have, Michelle? Oh, I had salmon and it was cooked perfect. And it was on a risotto that had, it was a mushroom risotto, but it had asparagus in it. And, and, then, and then the sauce that was just like flavor overload. I loved it, it was delicious. It's really good. And I had a pastrami on rye sandwich and was phenomenal. And I do want to point out, I'm kind of channeling a little bit of J.J. Abrams here in the Star Trek movies, they got the lens flare going, and that just says there's something exciting happening, right? That's what he said about that. But um, You're out of the frame. our dinner, that's okay. <laughs> it's hard, you know, I'm doing a lot. I'm walking and filming and talking all at the same time. If I was chewing gum, we'd be flat on the pavement <laughs> right about now. But uh, but uh, it is it is nice to take a break from our hosting duties at Holland State Park and uh, actually get out and get out for dinner. And um, so it was really, really good. I guess we're gonna stop stop walking a for a minute. Dinner. Delicious yeah. dinner at Hops Restaurant. And I'll tell you one thing that Holland, Michigan is really known for is, well, not only hospitality, but incredibly good food and restaurants. If you've never been to the west side of Michigan, you should get there and experience some of the hospitality and great food that Holland has to offer. I'm standing on what used to be known as Park Township Airport. And as a youngster, when we lived in Holland, Michigan, this is the airport that my dad kept his airplane. And um, often I would join him right here in this building right here on Sunday mornings for what's known as hangar flying. If you've never heard of hangar flying, it's where a bunch of pilots get together, sit around, drink coffee, and discuss their adventures 
Um, maybe about flying, maybe not. But I remember we would show up, my dad would have a cup of coffee and um, talk with the guys here. And I would get a bottle of soda from one of those old fashioned machines. You put the quarter in or nickel in or whatever it was. And then you'd have to pull the soda out through the metal. And it was a little, probably an eight ounce bottle of knee high grape soda is usually what I drank. I'm not sure when this was added, but it's a nice addition to this now unused airport. This building behind me was used for maintenance of aircraft. There'd be some repair and things going on. But when I was a boy, um, the airport formed a club uh, for young men, for boys, kind of like Boy Scouts, except surrounded around aviation and aircraft. And we got to vote on our own name and we were the Golden Eagles Flying Club. And we would meet and do things. We built model rockets and flew some model rockets out in the uh, airfield out here. We got clearance to do that. And um, we also we said we'd have our meetings here. And we did a field trip once to Ohio and went to the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and to the newly opened Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum. Now that's a place that Michelle and I went to last year on our trip to Airstream's mothership. This beautiful Look at that. There you see us right there, both of us? Yeah. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh.